Hi, my name is Ophir Gabe, and I'm bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial today. And this video is going to be a continuation of a previous video. Uh, basically, this video is going to show you how to pay a loan that's on the company's books. Um, the, in the previous video, I showed you, um, we did a demonstration on how to purchase an asset and we purchased this truck right here uh, for the original cost of fifteen thousand dollars and we put a down payment of three thousand dollars and financed the rest which was twelve thousand dollars so if you look on the balance sheet you'll see there's a truck fixed asset for fifteen thousand dollars which is the full amount the full purchase price and there's a truck loan payable for twelve thousand dollars. Now, the the easiest way to do this, and there's actually multiple ways of, of uh, paying a loan, um, depending on which uh, payment method you choose to use. Um, if you're actually cutting checks, you'll want to use the um, the check uh, transaction. Um, if you're paying online via ACH or you're having payments automatically debited from your account you'll want to use the, the expense uh, transaction so th that's what we'll do for this demonstration so you click the quick create button and you go under the vendor column and you click expense and then you choose your payee over here we'll choose um, just for this example, we'll, we'll assume we're, we bought the car from uh, Fidelity. They're holding the loan. They, so uh, the account, this is the, the trick right here, the account that you're going to want to use. Well, uh, let's, let's do this step by step. So uh, first of all, you choose the vendor that you're paying. This is going to be the vendor that's holding the loan on the balance of the car and um, just to make that clear it's not the, the person that you bought the car from it's whoever's holding the financing um, for it so you choose them and then uh, the second option would be um, the second mandatory uh, thing that you have to do would be to choose the payment source account so whatever account you're paying this uh, you're making this payment from so uh, typically that would be the checking account but um, th this would vary depending on your business and then uh, the third um, step would be to choose the payment date uh, and over here you choose the payment method we're going to pick uh, We'll make this ACH. We'll make a new payment method. We'll name it ACH. And then the fourth step would be to choose the account. And this is where you would actually pick that notes payable account. And you have to make sure that you pick the, the right one. If you have multiple uh, current liability accounts, you have to make sure that you pick the right one that's holding the balance for your purchase so in this case it's the truck loan notes payable account and we'll assume that we're making monthly payments of four hundred dollars and it's not billable it's not taxable and then uh, we'll continue now typically there's going to be an interest portion that's associated with this payment if you know ahead of time what the what the interest portion is then you could actually break down this payment into two different lines um, on the second line you'll have your interest let's see if, they have, if there's an interest this is a sample company file so I'm not sure if there's an actual interest expense account set up um, I'm just gonna do that really quickly interest expense So it's an expense account. Interest paid will be the detail type. 
and we're gonna save and close. Okay, so from that four hundred dollar monthly payment, a portion of that is gonna be towards the principal, and then uh, the second a portion would be towards interest owed on the loan. So. Um, typically you could get an amortiz amortization table in Excel to, to kind of give you a rough estimate of, of how much uh, interest and principal um, you're paying each month but um, you could also get that information off of the statement if you get a statement from the, whoever's financing your loan but um, just for this demonstration we'll assume that we're paying a hundred dollars towards the principal and then three hundred dollars would be in interest for this month and that's that's gonna change uh, monthly so uh, depending on how you want to handle this you could tip, you could also book the whole thing the whole monthly payment into the notes payable so you would put the whole four hundred dollars here and then at the end of the year you could get a statement from your financer uh, to see how much interest you paid and you you'll do book an entry to do that um, I'll, I'll probably make another video showing you how to do the how to account for interest on loans but for this demonstration I'm just gonna do this um, this way we're assuming that we got this information from the monthly statement uh, that we get from the person that's financing uh, the company that's financing our loan so so you have your uh, portion that's your, from your note, uh, paying your principal, which is $100, and the $300 portion, which is interest expense, for a total monthly payment of $400. And then um, we're paying it today, October 30th, and you just uh, save and close. So let's look at our financial reports and see uh, how this affected, how that transaction affected our uh, reports. So first let's take a look at our balance sheet. And as you recall we paid $100 towards the principal and then the, the other $300 was interest expense. So if you'll see previously before we made that payment uh, notes payable account had a $12,000 balance and now it has an $11,900 balance because that uh, of course takes into account the $100 that we just paid towards the principal. Uh, the other portion and that's uh, the balance sheet the other portion of that transaction the $300 of course gets expensed uh, so you'll find that $300 on the profit and loss statement so if we scroll down and we're looking for um, interest expense right here okay so if you look at this line you'll see the the three hundred dollars and um, of course that's from the same transaction that's the remainder of the four hundred dollar monthly payment um, the three hundred dollars that we paid towards interest so that's getting expensed um, uh, right away and uh, like, I, like I mentioned, I'm probably going to release another video showing you how to um, account for interest at the, at the end of the year. Um, if you're booking your whole uh, monthly payment uh, towards principal. Uh, so look forward to, to, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see when I release that video. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, just letting me know that uh, you like these videos and I'll keep uh, releasing them um, and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below you could also email me at accounting at firstclasstaxsolutions.com I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one consulting uh, if you ever um, need help with your client uh, with your company's QuickBooks uh, file uh, please feel free to reach out to me alright uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day Thank you.